this little guy I found recently on the beach on San Juan Island in an old driftwood log. And you can see the beautiful green and the copper underneath. This is dichroic glass. Now the dichroic glass reflects one color and transmits another. There's the transmitted color. There's the reflective color, a blue. So I'm going to start by cutting a strip of glass. I'm, I'm looking at the beetle and just gauging the size of glass that I need to start out with. So I'm going to say right about there. Next, I must grind this into the shape. I will begin to the glass into the shape of that little depressor. Now these are cooled overnight. These are ones that I've painted with enamel glass paint and incorporated my initial metal into the piece. Now I've soldered my the head and thorax, legs, antennae uh, onto the glass piece. Beetles as wearable sculptures. They have a pin soldered to the back with an end cap. The colors of the dichroic glass are very intriguing. I was contacted by a friend of Nelson Mandela to create a honeybee as the honeybee is part of a Mandela family crest. Even flies are very beautiful, especially when you look under the microscope at a fly. Even a fruit fly, the colors are amazing on the wings. I really like when people tell me that they had a fear of spiders at one time, but now they own one of these metal sculptures and they've learned to appreciate spiders. So many people do love beetles because of their incredible form and their brilliant colors.